Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and as you can see, last night I collected the final trophy that I needed to get, the Golden Outbreak Trophy, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to get that Golden Outbreak Trophy for the second ending of Outbreak, and I'm also going to be linking in the description every single one of these trophies and how you get each and every one of these trophies. I'm going to have videos on each and every one of them already up on my channel. I'll link all of them down below, so if you're missing any of them, just let me know, and then also go down in the description and grab each and every one of those trophies. But this is how you get the Golden Outbreak Trophy. Basically, you need to complete the Easter egg normally for the first few steps. Grab the black box, place the black box, and then grab the four initial key cards that you can kind of get with the EM1, shooting the ground, yada, yada, yada. You guys already know the steps to that. Now, as soon as you get the fourth key card, and keep in mind, the entire time, you cannot go down once doing this. Even if you have XO Revive, if you go down, your key color will turn from this kind of whitish color to a gray color. So if you take a look at the 44 on my screen right now, if you go down, if you fail this in any way, this color will turn from this white to a very darked out gray color where it's a lot harder to see. And you guys will notice whenever it changed. Just take, take a look at what it looks like on mine. And if yours changes to a different color, keep that in mind and, uh, and know that you have failed it in some way by either going down or grabbing grabbing a wrong key card. And basically, every single key card that you get on key card number four through 49 has to be a melee kill. It's terrible, it sucks, it takes forever, but every single time you grab a key card, it has to be from a melee kill. Every single melee kill will give you a key card. It's not like a random chance of a drop. Every single time that you get a melee kill, it will give you a brand new key card. However, you cannot pick up any key cards that have been accidentally dropped on the ground. So if you shoot zombies, that's fine. You can make them drop the key cards, but you cannot pick it up. If any of these zombies die out, they kind of bleed out if they're crawlers or anything like that. Sometimes they will drop key cards and you need to make sure to not pick up any key cards that have been left behind by crawlers or anything like that. Make sure that you are very, very safe and where you're walking. And if any zombies bleed out or anything like that and they drop a key card, make sure you avoid it at all costs because if you pick it up, it will turn into this gray color where it's a failed Easter egg attempt and you will not be able to get the second ending. But as you can see, every single time that I melee a zombie, I get a brand new key card. And just obviously, I had very, very bad luck on trying to get the EM1. It took me a lot of rounds to get enough points to finally get the EM1, which is why it took me to round 19. But usually, if you can get it around round 10 or 11 or so, you can just kill the zombies in three melee hits and uh, you, you can complete this pretty darn easily. It does take a little bit of time as usual, but again, just make sure you stay safe. Make sure you don't kill yourself like I almost did there with my grenades or anything like that and just take it slow run circles around the entire map and if you accidentally kill any zombies or any zombies bleed out do not pick up their key cards it has to be all melee kills all the way from 4 to 49 but once you get to 49 you are good to go and as you can see here I'm going to be completing the Easter egg every single step of the way after the 49 is completely the same you need to go to the uh, Angie place you need to ask her hey what's up she'll say you need to check in for the day you'll go to your little keypad to check in and after you go to your keypad to check in you will basically be pretty much done at that point and uh, go back to the initial mainframe toggle it again and then go to the exo testing room activate the exo suits and go back outside and you will be getting the second ending for the outbreak easter egg where the thing does not get shut down it completely just is fine flies down picks you up and you get a victory screen you don't have to play anymore and that will be the second ending and that will give you the trophy here and as always guys if you guys would like to see the uh, trophies and the tutorials for every single trophy make sure you go down in the description down below i'll have uh, kind of steps for every single one and all my videos linked down below so anyway Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Exo Zombie coverage. I will have one more Exo Zombie video, just a huge storyline video detailing everything that happened in the Exo Zombie storyline. And then we are pretty much done with Exo Zombies until the next time it rolls around, which will probably be in about three years, which is a crazy long amount of time. But uh, that is that is basically it for Exo Zombies on any new content. I will probably be playing it on stream a few more times just for fun. But uh, just one more storyline video, and that is going to be it. That we're going to be done, though. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the coverage and all the Easter eggs. It's been a long ride. I really, really appreciate all the work that you guys have uh, have been kind of helping me with and putting into this and making this the best experience possible for everyone. So anyway, that is about going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the coverage. If you have, make sure you leave a like. I will see you guys all in the next video and goodbye.